Hello fellow crafters and welcome to SEO Handmade Craft Spot. Today I'm going to show you how to make a simple jelly roll. To do this all you're going to need is this tissue blade. Um, you're going to need two packs of clay that you're going to roll out on your thickest setting and then um, go to your next setting beside the thickest setting and roll it out and then you can cut them out like so because I'm going to show you how to do one black one and one white one and you also you're going to need a pasta machine and that's all you need to get started so since we've already done everything else and I've already cut it we don't need um, the tissue blade so we're just going to Lay the clay out and we'll set it aside here. So to do this, you're simply just going to lay it out and don't worry about this little purple spot. No one's going to see it even when you use it after you roll it up. You're going to take your clay and you're going to pinch it up on the sides because you want to make sure there's absolutely no air bubbles getting inside your clay cane and you're going to gently roll it like this and take your time and don't worry about the size we'll fix that later and you're going to continue to roll it and roll it and roll it and I'm going to show all of the details in these videos so that you will know how to do it and have the confidence to do it on your own later now once you do this to make it easier you're going to take your tissue blade and you're going to bevel it you're going to hold it at about a 45 degree angle and you're going to hold it down into your clay and you're going to push it out and you're going to lay this aside and see how you're going to have like a little edge on your clay it'll make it easier to roll it over like so and you're going to slightly roll your clay excuse me if you see clay in my nails that's why I usually try to keep them cut down for that reason and so this is going to be the inside of the jelly roll now next what you're going to do you're going to take your black and lay it out and cut off the edge here to make it kind of straight okay and you're going to lay your your rolled up clay cane on the side of the uh, black you're going to line up your edges and clean it up a little bit it makes it easier and uh, it's less waste so we're going to turn this around down and get it to cooperate and so basically you're just going to roll the black over on itself and as you can see it makes a little line which will make it easier for you to cut it and once you cut it move the excess clay out of the way and take it and roll the clay over on itself and don't worry about if it's a little short just pinch it over because clay is very forgiving and you butt the edges up on it and you roll it up a little bit and there you have it folks a simple jelly roll this is a black and white one now we're going to do a white and black one okay let's set that aside and we're going to use this piece of clay here and we're going to clean it up a little bit cut off your edges so you have it when it's a little even and um, same process you're going to take and you're going to roll fold it over on itself at the very edge as much as possible being careful so that there's no air bubbles getting in this and by the way I'm using Sculpey Black and I'm using uh, Scopey uh, 
pearl clay. And again, you take your tissue blade, hold it at, as an, at an angle, push it down into the clay, slide it forward so that you see the little edge on your clay. And you take it and you roll it over on itself. See how it's easy to roll it over on itself? And you take it and you just pinch it over a little bit and you slightly roll it. You don't want to do a full roll like you're going to condition it, which I will show you in subsequent videos. But you want it to roll over on itself um, so it would be easier for the next step. And we're going to take the white, the uh, pearl uh, clay and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to lay it on this edge here. And... I keep turning it around, folks, because I'm left-handed. So I have to look at things the way it makes sense to me. So I hope you still can see exactly what I'm doing. Again, you're going to roll it over on itself. Okay. And there's a line, even though it's, you know, um, white or, you know, a pearl-like color, you can still see it. You put the additional clay to the side. Again, you just butt it up to the edge like this and you push it together and don't worry about that because we're going to roll it out until the line disappears. You're going to do it softly like this. All the way down. And because this one is just a little bit um, a little bit more off than I would like. We're gonna cut one of the edges off. Well, both actually. And there you have it, folks. Here's your uh, black and pearl cane. And when you see little bubbles like this in the middle, little holes in the middle, don't worry about it. Because the more you use it and condition it, and when you actually use it in a uh, clay cane or as you will reduce it and I will show you that in uh, again in other videos how to do the reduction process that uh, little air space will disappear so so here you have your black and white and your white and black jelly rolls so thank you for watching until next time bye